Hey guys, it's Larry again with the Hooligan XL by Stealthcraft. Um, I did a, I don't know, I might add this to my other video, but anyway, let me get my phone flashlight going here. I wanted to show everybody, I actually have the self bailing floor. So it's the exact same floor. The only difference is when you have the self bailing, they drill holes in the bottom um, rubber so that when water seeps over on the sides of the white floor, between the white and the green, it seeps down there if you get any water in here, and then it comes out the bottom. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the bottom because I don't think there's any stealth crap videos on this. So, I got my thumb flashlight here. Let's get under the boat. Give me, bear with me. So here's the heavy duty bottom here. There's not holes in the back, but if you look right there, of the camera show there's holes all the way down on both sides I don't know how good that light is and you can see there's your green raft up there but that's where it seeps out and you got these here's the rubbers built up on the corners that's really cool um, over there too so that's where your water comes out and uh, Oh gosh, I'm getting old. Okay, so I would say the only uh, the only disadvantage to that, in my case, is that when I use the outboard, because you have holes in the bottom, obviously the outboard pushes the boat down into the water, the backside, so then you get some water down here on your floor when you're cruising with the outboard. But it's not a big deal. I get to the boat ramp and by the time I go get my truck, all the water's seeped out. I put it on a trailer. Now the downside to not having a self bailing bottom is when I get back to the boat ramp, if I've had a rainy day or I've been getting in and out of here with my waders in the winter time and I got a bunch of water on my boat, I have to bail it out. Otherwise it's going to be a lot of weight pushing on that rubber on the floor. So I don't know. I'm thinking the self bailing is a little bit better myself. Now maybe, maybe if you don't have a self bailing, you don't have water in the back and you can actually go a little faster with the outboard. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I asked Mike over at Stealthcraft about the rowing aspects of the um, self bailing versus the non. He said he didn't really notice a difference. So I've never rowed the other one so I have no idea but I can't imagine it's going to make that much difference. Because when the boat's sitting flat in the water you're not really going to have much water up in there. I mean it's probably the whole length of the boat, you wouldn't even have a gallon of water. So I don't think seven or eight pounds is really gonna make a big difference in your rowing. Um, that's all I got, let me back up here. Look at my beauty. I started out with kayaks. I got one on the roof and one on the wall. And then I had to go with the raft and uh, this thing is just awesome. I'm really loving it. So more videos to follow, thanks guys.